Are you looking for an easy laser craft that you can sell? We'll show you how you can make it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. We're always looking for easy laser projects that we can make and sell. And when Kim showed me these names with the shapes inside, I was like, those are easy and those look hot. I kept seeing these all over Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, and I thought they would be a really great project for us to make with our laser and show you how to make them. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed two sheets of 14 by 25 inch quarter inch MDF. We're gonna use our Foxy Hughes paints. And we're gonna use some Starbond Thick. This is the thick stuff so it'll hold. And you can find all of these on our website at kngmakeit.com. If you're looking for easily cuttable MDF, we have the boards in all desktop laser sizes on our website. Step two, we're gonna make our design. You can do this in Xtool Creative Space or Light Burn, but I want this to be quick and easy and I am most comfortable in Adobe Illustrator, so I'll meet you there. We're gonna start by using our type tool over here on the left, and we're just gonna type out our name, Grace. I'm gonna go back over and get my selection tool. I'm gonna grab a corner and hold shift and drag it out to make it big. I'll grab another corner, hold shift. Now I wanna change this font to something fat. I like milligram macro. I want this name to be 20 inches wide. And it's still not fat enough, so I'm gonna add a stroke to this. I'm actually gonna add like a 15 point stroke to this. Looks good, now let's make this type an object. And we'll do that by going to our quick actions and clicking create outlines. Next, I'll go to my objects menu, path, and then we'll outline stroke. I wanna merge all of this, but I don't wanna merge them all together. It'll become one big word. So I'm going to ungroup them first. Now let's select just one letter. We'll go to Windows menu. Then we'll go down to Pathfinder and we're gonna use our Unite tool. This will make it all one object and we'll just do this for each letter. And it's merging that outlined stroke to the actual letter. Now we have fat objects. We're gonna duplicate all of layer one and then we're gonna select all of layer one by clicking the little bubble. We're gonna get rid of the fill so it's none and then we're gonna add a stroke to this. Now I wanna add like a 20 point stroke to this cause I want a nice fat frame, but I only want it on the inside. So I'm gonna put my stroke only on the inside. We're gonna outline this stroke to make our frame. So we're gonna go to objects menu, path, outline stroke. Some of my frame pieces or some of the letter frames overlap each other. So I'm just gonna erase parts of each of these letters that overlap. So I'm just gonna erase part of this C and you'll notice that I'm only erasing part of the C because it only erases what's selected. So I can select like the A by holding control. You can hold control and select the A. Now I'm just gonna delete the parts that overlap the R without even touching the R. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Let's get rid of the C. Now let's go get our selection tool. Everything's looking nice. We'll select that entire layer. Now I'm gonna unite this entire layer using my Pathfinder tool. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom layer. We unite it using my Pathfinder tool. Let's Unhide layer one copy. Now I have my base and my frame. We're gonna make a new layer. Let's make this thing a little bit prettier. We'll make our base layer a light shade of pink. And then we'll make this frame a dark shade of pink. Start making it look a little more like what would be in Grace's room. I already collected some clip art, so I'm just gonna grab that from my other tab. We're going to paste this into our new layer two. Just going to size this and get it in place. 
Let's make a duplicate of layer one copy. That way we keep our frame. So I'm about to merge it with layer three. So let's drag that above layer three. Now we're gonna grab layer three and layer one copy. We're gonna use our Pathfinder tool and unite these two layers. Now they're all layer three. It's all one piece. If I hide that top layer, you can see. But now you see we have some stragglers outside the lines. So we're gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna draw a box around the whole thing. Let's make this box white so it's a little easier to see when we go to make our trim. Now I'm gonna select this layer one. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna select layer three and do Control Shift V. That'll paste in place. With gray selected, I'm gonna hold Shift and select the box also. Then I'm gonna use my Pathfinder tool and I'm gonna use minus front. With that still selected, I'm gonna hold my shift key, select the black frame piece with the clip art in it, and now I'm gonna select the Pathfinder tool minus front. This should clip out all of the little pieces and stragglers outside of the letters. I'm gonna finish this up and make this a cut file and fast forward, but if you like this Adobe Illustrator for laser crafts, Join us over on Patreon where we do a monthly Illustrator class over Zoom and we have a Discord channel with tons of information. We're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna bring that quarter inch MDF over to the X-Tool P2 and cut out our design. We'll meet you over in Creative Space so we'll show you all of our settings and how we set up our file. Here we are in X-Tool Creative Space. We've already loaded our board. Our camera has refreshed. We're gonna set our material type, six millimeter MDF. Now we're gonna set our focus. We're gonna just drag this over so that the camera can measure the board width, which is 0.36. We're going to import our image. No, we want to display it in the original size. So we're going to size this thing so that it really fits the board. We want to use all of our board space. So we're just going to increase the size a little bit and make sure it fits on here. Select cut and then update our power settings. So we've run our test card. We're gonna run ours at about 75% power and set the speed to seven and click process. Oops, we didn't remove the top name. So we can't have it hanging off the board like this. So we're just going to slide it up, select it, slide it up out the way. And now we'll click process again and click start. <laughs> Step four. Now we paint. We're gonna use our Foxy Hughes paints. We're gonna do these in shades of pink. So we're gonna be using our Fantastic Fuchsia and our Bunces Berry Blast. And our white is Ash Avenger. This one has lots of little cuts on it. So I'm gonna pop out all of our little pieces and then paint. Now you can paint with pieces in in an effort to not have it drip down in between. But doing it that way will sometimes paint your pieces into the frame and that might be even harder to manage. So we go ahead and pop all our little pieces out first and then we paint. Now you might think that spray painting would be faster and sometimes it is a little bit easier, but overall, because you're gonna reuse your rollers, you can roll this It'll be dry in three minutes. You'll put the second coat and be done. You don't have to wait nearly as long for it to dry. And you're not wasting all that paint with overspray. You're not spray painting a piece of cardboard behind it or anything else. So that's just a little something I thought I'd share. Step five. Time to assemble. We're just gonna use some Starbond Thick. Bring it all together. We'll start with this middle layer. Just the one with all the stuff on it.
Step six, profit. So this one used two of those Glowforge boards, which would be about $11.66 in material cost, plus a little bit of paint. Uh, it took about an hour to cut. We pay our laser $15 an hour. So we're at about $26. $29 I guess if you want to add in maybe a box or so for shipping materials and then it depends on how much profit margin you want to add if you want to add a 50% profit margin then you're talking about $45 for something this size or if you want to go a hundred percent profit margin you're looking at about a $60 sign so I would say that with something like this this is pretty close to one of our $55 signs and I'd probably charge just about that much $55 for one of these for this size now Garrett decided he needed to make one for his own man cave sign. Well, I thought that one was looking pretty cool, so I needed my own man cave sign. I made it have some uh, BMX theme through it. Of course, his had to be bigger, so you would charge a lot more for something that size because that is using a lot larger board, more wood. He's actually got four layers on his and a little more time in painting and materials, so I'd be closer to... 70, yeah, about $70 or so. 75 dollars for something this size for with this many size. layers. Yeah. yeah. Step seven, marketing. We get asked a lot, how do you market the projects that you guys make? Well, this would be great for social media. It's a personalized item. I would get good pictures and I would really get video of this thing because it's 3D, it's gonna be hard to pick it up in just a single picture. You should pan across it, maybe do some assembly videos and get some shots where this thing might actually live in the end. So that folks can envision this in their space. So this one's gonna sit on a floating shelf. I will take some final shots of it sitting in a bedroom on a shelf so that if you wanted to give this as a gift, you can kind of envision what it would look like maybe in a bedroom, a teen's bedroom or a kid's bedroom. This one's gonna go on the wall in my man cave. So get a couple of shots of this actually on a wall in a man cave. They need to be able to envision their own name in that area. And then you can also use uh, AI to help create some of those images for you. There's lots of tools out there. So really those photos and then for someone to really envision what this is gonna look like in their space, that's what's gonna help sell this product. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That is the best way to support this channel. Joining us on Patreon where you'll get some extra content, some SVGs. <laughs> a super secret Facebook group, a Discord channel, monthly Zoom calls, and a monthly Illustrator class. There's lots of content out there and lots of folks that you can interact with and learn from. So be sure to join us over on Patreon. Oh, mine's pretty easy because it's tall. And Garrett's about out of time. Oh, so we I'm just... about out of time. <laughs> I gotta go get back to work. You gotta get back to work. And we will see you on Tuesday for a Test Cut Tuesday. I actually have my file ready. I'm ready to go. I just have to test it now. <laughs>